Hello friends, welcome to Chavla's Kitchen. It's a time of occasions. So we are having Karva Chauth, Diwali and many other occasions going on right now. And many of you guys requested for a Moog Dal Halwa and I want to make on the Diwali special session and I'm going to make a Moog Dal Halwa. It's in a traditional way. As you guys know, this is a Rajasthani dish. So it's a rich dish with a lot of ghee in it. So let's go through the ingredients real quick. So here goes the ingredients. This is a split green moong dal and I just soaked it overnight and make a paste out of it. So this is the paste. So just take out the excess water in which you soaked it and you know just use some water to make a paste out of it. You can use a blender, you can use a magic bullet. I just use a magic bullet. Here goes the sugar. So sugar is one cup, one cup dal, then one cup ghee. So proportion of ghee, sugar and dal would be same. As you can see my another video of how to make halwa, suji halwa. So proportion of all these things should be same. And the water I'm using in this is two cups of water. And here is shredded coconut. This I'll be using just for garnishing. This is a melon seeds. I love to use melon seeds in all of my halwa dishes. And here I have a cardamom pods. Then I have sliced almonds over here. And this is a homemade khoya. You can see my another recipe of how to make khoya. So I'm using around half cup of this. So let's get started. We'll be putting this ghee. Some people like to use oil, but I suggest you guys don't go for no oil because you know, if you want to avoid ghee, you can use unsalted butter, but don't use oil. Then you'll not get that flavor. So I'll just, you know, drop this ghee in a pan and then we'll be putting our dal in it. Here, my ghee is already melted. So be careful, I'm now going to put the paste in it. People would think why we use so much ghee, but actually the sweet dishes like halwa or any sort of burfi, the more ghee you'll put, the more tastier it would be. And that to a desi ghee or unsalted butter, anyhow, both works fine. So I'm just mixing dal along with the ghee and you know now we have to keep an eye on our dal because this should not stick to the bottom and we have to first put it on a medium heat for five minutes and let this incorporate dal incorporate into the ghee then we will be just you know roasting it on a low flame. This is a lengthy procedure, but I assure you guys, you are gonna love this dish. So, just press this way. So this is after five minutes. So dal is incorporated into ghee. And you know, you can see this crumbly texture over here. So I'm just putting a flame on low that is between five to six. And then we will be just keeping an eye on it. And we have to stir it this way, use this way. And we have to like roast it for around another 15, 20 minutes. Then we'll check back after 15, 20 minutes. So this is after 15 minutes. So, so you can see the fat has started getting separated, but I can feel the raw flavor of the dal. So I'll cook for another 10, 15 minutes and you can see the color has already changed, but I, I'm gonna give it again 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, we'll check back. And moreover, many people ask, how they know that fat has got separated or oil or ghee has got separated. So once you're cooking, you know, just slide on any side and just give 10, 20 seconds and you will see the fat. It's getting separated. It's coming down over here. So that means this, this means fat has got separated. So look at the color now. It's like 30 to 35 minutes from the time we started and it's almost done now. We are at a stage we are where, where we are gonna put the water. So be careful. 
I've seen people putting uh, milk also. So if you are making moong ka chira, chira we call, then put uh, this uh, milk in it. Otherwise, you just, you know, you can avoid putting milk because in halwa we don't put milk. And as we are putting khoi also. So here goes sugar. Stir everything well. So people make syrup separately then put it in this. I just make it the way I make halwa. So I put everything well. Make it a point to you know just stir everything well. So I'll give it a boil. And let me put the khoi also over here. So you can use a homemade khoya or you can use a store-bought khoya. It's your, totally your wish. I like to use a homemade khoya. So I give it like 5 to 10 minutes. Not a lot of ghee in it and khoya too leaves a ghee from it. So it's almost done. Here goes almonds. So you can put dry fruits according to your taste. Here goes melon seeds. I love melon seeds in almost all of the dishes which have halwa in it. So here goes cardamom seeds. I like cardamom seeds. Some people like uh, cardamom powder. You can use it. But I like the flavor of cardamom seed coming into my mouth. So it's almost done. And my halwa is ready. So I'll sprinkle some grated coconut on the top and this halwa is ready but what I am gonna do is I am gonna I have already greased a plate over here and I am gonna flatten up this halwa on it and show you how to make burfi out of it so here goes my halwa isn't it looking beautiful I have just topped up this with some grated coconut and some almonds so this is a grease plate over here I have so just use any sort of spatula you have. Just lay it flat. What we have to do is, the way we make halwa, just make the way I told you. And you know, just grease the plate and let it cool down. Keep it in the fridge. And then we can cut it to pieces.